It's beer and food o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Last week I did a video called Weird Food in a Tin. Asked you guys if it's a series we can carry on with, if you would enjoy that. The majority of you were like, yeah, this is an amazing idea. We wanted to find weird foods in a tin. A lot of you were asking for whole chicken in a tin. I've seen some videos. Like... Goodness me, it's horrendous. Horrendous. I'll try and get one. I will try and get one. Um, so off the success of the Hunger Breaks Mix Grill in a tin, I went out and found Westler's Four Burgers in Onion Gravy in a tin. Mum's Choice. Meal times Made Easy. I totally understand people got to eat. I'm not going to kind of slate it too much because um, I'm in a situation as well where, you know, money's hard to come by sometimes. It's not, it's not really easy to come by money all of the time. And every now and again, you have to have a cheap meal. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to breathe through my teeth like that too much. I'm just going to, just going to get on with it. Let's open it. Okay, so looking at the side of the tin, you can either microwave it for two minutes or you can stick it in a hob. I reckon just for viewing, just to get you to see what's going on, I'm going to stick it on the hob. See what they look like warming up. I love my manual. Army tin opener. So much easier and, and they last so much longer than the, the other style of tin openers out there. So, so far, it doesn't smell too bad. It's a mixture of good quality dog food and, yeah, a rich onion gravy. Oh, my goodness. Oh, look at that. Oh, um, yeah, saucepan. Right, that's what they look like. It's a bit like um, it's a bit like stuck together meatballs. Right, let's get it on the hob. Right, what I suggest you guys do before you turn the hob on, I reckon you should separate these because it might be that well they want to cook in the middle, so separate them up. There you go. before whacking on the heat. There you go. I don't think they're going to fizz up too much. There's a lot of... You can see the, the fat. Let's turn on this light there. Yeah, you can see the fat where they've been kind of stuck together. The four patties have been stuck together. So... The description of this, when I turn it up a little bit, is Wessler's Burgers in Onion Gravy are a delicious tea time treat for all the family. Why not try Wessler's Burgers with creamy mash served with a side of vegetables as a main meal? Alternatively, alternatively for a satisfying quick snack, serve in a burger bun. Drizzle gently with onion gravy. Now, we're not going to be doing any of that on the channel, we're just going to eat the eat what we can of the burgers okay so here we go then on the plate and cooking them has changed my whole thought process on these burgers they actually smell nice 
It's picking them up off the shelf, looking at them and buying them. That's the, I think that's the biggest challenge because it just sounds so wrong. But in this kitchen now, it smells of, it smells of cheesy beans on toast, if that makes any sense. It's that typical stick anything in, in tomato sauce and it may work. Right. That's what they look like. It's just, it's pork and chicken. It's just a reshaped meatball. Yeah. A salty, I don't even think it's any gravy. I, I think it's just tomato sauce. Salty, slippery, sludgy, meatball type thing. There is no difference in this product here than if you've seen the Hunger Breaks video where I was eating those lamb chops or the bit of pork. If you, to, if, if you were to compare that with this, it's nigh on exactly the same. It's basically, you're telling your kids they're eating a burger. You can stick, you could put this in a burger roll with some beans and some chips or mash and gravy and veg as, as, as Wesley's have suggested or Wessler's have suggested. I think it's more of a, as I mentioned, a, a mental block. I've seen these, because I do a lot of shopping in places like Home Bargains. I've seen these in Home Bargains and Poundland for, for years. Years and years. Have I bought them? No. No. And that's because you think, burgers in a tin, that's just, that's just not going to work. Until you get it home, until you try it. Granted, I'm not standing here today telling you that, that this is as good as the, the grazing shed burger that I had last week. The beautiful beef in the burger and it was fantastic. This is slop. Complete slop compared to that. It's not even a real burger. It's mostly pork, it's mostly chicken. But the fact I'm even finding it edible and the fact that I can go... Yeah, I can, I can, I can eat this. Just means that it's your mind. It's your mind plays. It's the thought of burgers in a tin. Do you know the pork sausages you get when you have pork sausages with beans in a tin? It's exactly the same, exactly the same as that. No difference. In fact, to the point where I think I need to, to read the side of the can to see if Westlers are owned by Heinz or somebody bigger. So let's have a look. And by the way, I want to cover this whole tin food phenomenon that was the 1940s. During World War II, this would have been in, not this particular product, but tin food would have been in every person's larder, fridge, whatever you call it, back in the day. A reason being, um, this stuff will probably, I could probably open a can of this in five years time. Let's have a look at the date. 2022 is 2019. That's three years, three years shelf life, because it don't go off until August 2022. Three years. That's like World War II, don't know when you're gonna next eat. 
we're in a world war with, 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 with multiple countries and, and you need food and you need to stock food. The idea back then was to stock food for, 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 for maybe months to get through the winter. So that was the idea behind this and it kind of stuck around because people, they were creatures of habit. If your mother bought you a load of these because she was, she went through the war or, or, your, or your grandma or something, then you're going to buy this type of food because when you get over the fact, and this is what I'm trying to say, a mental note, when you get over the mental fact that it's just a, it's just beans and sausage in a tin, that's all that is, then, then you could eat it. Right. Produced in Holland on behalf of Molten Foods, Amothby, Molten, North Yorkshire. Moltenfoods.co.uk. There you go. Wessler's. Four burgers in onion gravy. It's... It's not ideal. I want to make a fat. I'm, I'm not standing here going, these things are amazing. It's salty, if you eat all these, it's probably gonna give you a headache. You're probably gonna to wanna to drink two gallons of water after eating this. But every now and again, sometimes some people have to make ends meet. These were a pound, one pound. It's jellified, it's, yeah. It's not consistent, doesn't, it hasn't got the consistency of a burger. It's like a jelly kind of swept up off the floor. Meat. But I've eaten one and a half. And that's more than I thought I would eat at the beginning of the review. They've sat in my cupboard for a week. I built up the courage to review them. If you've got a bit of money, go and enjoy a, a, a good quality burger somewhere. If like me sometimes, sometimes, you, you need to put a meal on the table, any kind of meal on the table, then, then buy these. They won't kill you. Rating? I did say beer o'clock, didn't I as well? Here's my beer. I'm drinking a Polish pale ale at 7%. To wash it down. Terrific. Double pale ale. Brew with oats. Uh, rating for this Wessler's burger in a tin. It's not healthy. It's not healthy. It's a bit sludgy. I know it sounded like I was singing the praises of this tin of food. I wasn't singing the praises of this tin of food. I was just saying that it's it's not as bad as it sounds. I was expecting to be screaming in this review. You know, like, like, can you imagine what a real beef burger would look like coming out of a tin? It would have been horrendous. Horrendous. For what it is, it's a 4 out of 10. 4 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers.